Okay, um, guys, I, I need, I need to make this video. It's been in my head for long, long time. And you know what? I need everybody on my channel, if possible, to check this video out. You know what I mean? Like, I need, this isn't something where I could just have a few people, you know, give me their opinion. While I appreciate when that happens, uh, I need the whole group to help me out. I need all my 150,000 plus subscribers. I'm at 154,000, whatever. I don't know. Um, I need everybody to give me a hand as much as you possibly can. I know there's going to be dummy accounts, of course. And I'm probably not going to get any more than a couple thousand views for this video anyways because that's how things go. But I need everybody's help. I really do. Um, I've been on YouTube for what? long time since 2007 i've been posting videos since 2008 or 9 roughly um and i started doing let's plays in 2010 so coming up in january of 2010 mid-january is my uh five year anniversary of doing let's plays now i don't know if you guys remember i did a video a few years back uh what was it in 2012, where I did a five-year anniversary of the DanQ8000 channel, but now I have, it's actually Let's Play, 150,000 Let's Play, that, oh, sorry, five years Let's Play subscribers, okay, wait, no, I'm mixing up so much shit, five years of Let's Playing at 150,000 subscribers, good God, man, that was a stumble, and I've, I've gone through a lot of stuff, I mean, I've been, I've seen all sorts of YouTube changes, I've seen so, all sorts of, um, copyright changes i've seen all sorts of um trends come and go you know what's what's hip what's not you know what i mean i've seen i've seen it all more than most people do who are on youtube and i've i've always been the type of youtuber to post something that everybody likes that's been my goal that's been what i've been wanting to do that's what i have been doing for as long as I can remember. The goal is not to necessarily do what I want to do. While that is obviously what I need to do. I can't just not do things I want to do or don't want to do. But my main goals, or sorry, my channel's fuel stemmed from my subscribers. Like I couldn't, I couldn't create my content without knowing that there's somebody who's going to be enjoying this. You know what I mean? It's something that, that, that just helps me. It, it fuels me. And I know it sounds really lame when I say that, but that's the case. The My subscriber base are, is what keeps DanQ8000 alive. Like, not, not just channel-wise, but me as a person as well. Like, I don't mean, obviously, it's a metaphor, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying. It, it keeps me going, keeps me motivated. It keeps me feeling good, feeling happy. But it seems lately... I don't know why. I don't know what's going on. It's been like this for a little while now, but it doesn't seem like no matter what I post, no matter how much I ask, no matter what I do, not many people really care to watch anymore. I mean, I know that sound this isn't meant to be a Dan Q8000 pity party. No, let's let's this isn't that's not the point of this video. Um but I feel like 150,000 people like, I understand I won't get everybody watching, but I think there should be more than, like, 1,000 to 5,000 views on average. And when I see numbers like that, it makes me think, what am I doing wrong? And that's the first question I ask myself as soon as I see this. What's wrong? What am I doing wrong? What, what do I need to do to better myself or better my content to get those 150,000 people to continue watching? Because let's be honest, I must have done something to make you subscribe, right? There must have been some little thing, some detail that made you guys click on the video and made you guys want to see and continue seeing videos. That's what the subscribe feature is for. Now, that could be anything. I understand that. That could, that could be... That could be a, a, a game, like a specific game. You like that I was covering this game. That could be me as a person. You could have liked how I am. You could have liked maybe you subscribe based on a vlog or something like that. Or 
maybe you like just like my commentary. You think I'm 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 interesting, I'm funny, whatever. Um that's fantastic. But I need your guys' help. I got to know what it was. What was it that made you guys subscribe? I am very curious of this. I, I'm trying to do a uh, channel, I don't want to say, well, I guess kind of channel maintenance. And in doing channel maintenance, I need to go back to my roots and figure out why, why did I, why did I do that to begin with? Why was I interesting enough or why did I do that or whatever the case would be to warrant your guys' subscription? Because I don't want to take that lightly. That's a huge thing. I understand. I mean, one subscriber, two subscriber, whatever. But without that domino effect of subscribers, this channel does not exist. It's that simple. And I wouldn't, you wouldn't see me online anymore at all. You wouldn't see me. And that, I don't, I, I don't want that to come to, I don't want the channel to come to that ever. So I'm taking all the necessary steps to try and figure out what it is that I need to do with my channel to make it better, to make it more enjoyable, to make people come back and want to watch my stuff, you know, regardless. Do I do more of this? Do I do less of this? Do I change this? I've got to know and I need your guys' help. Because you know what? Last night, I'm not going to lie, I was pretty upset uh, over, I just felt like I, I, I wasn't meeting people's expectations, you know? And... Uh, and I just felt like I had let people down. Like, honestly, that's simple. I'm letting people down every day that I'm posting videos nowadays. And I, I know there are there are that a group of people, a, lo a fairly good-sized group of people that do commit. And they tune into every single one of my videos every day. And that means the world to me. You guys don't understand. I could say it as many times as I, if I, as I feel necessary, and I don't think it'd be enough. So... I just want you guys to know the ones that are viewing, trust me, thank you, okay, trust me. I, I, you guys probably help me get through bullshit that happens on a daily, and I can't thank you enough. But at the same time, I'm the kind of person who can't take a negative, you know, a, a negative, I, I don't like being the guy to be a douche, you know what I mean? I don't like being the guy to uh, to 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 use tricks on YouTube to get get people to watch. I don't believe that. I want to I want to give people what they want to watch because they want to watch it. I don't I shouldn't have to pretty up this thing or pretty up something to trick people into watching. That's not how I am and that's not what I want to do. For example, my titles are very simple. Whatever game, let's play part whatever with a title to show you that it's, you know, it's got some, it's got some substance. I make up a name for the video. Um, I don't say for Xbox One, PlayStation 4, PC, uh, blah, gameplay walkthrough, um, playthrough, let's play, uh, go early, early developer, blah, 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 blah. I don't put that in my title. I don't tag my titles. Like, people do that and it fucking pisses me off because I feel like I'm genuinely trying to get people to you know, get people to enjoy the content without trickery and without fucking fake ass bullshit like that. And yet it's unfortunate because people go back to them and they don't see what they're doing. They don't see these people do these things and they let them get away with it. Like they're, they just, they're like, oh, he's the best YouTuber. Is he though? Are they really the best people to be dealing with? People who get games early, fine, whatever. I'm not dissing on that right now. Um, but they spam the fuck out of it on the first goddamn day. Does that sound like they want to give you content? They don't want to give you shit. They could care less about you. No, they couldn't care less about you because people that do that, that, that spam, that put titles in, or put tags in their titles and trick you by selecting, um, by typing in walkthrough part one or whatever, and it's just a developer giving his commentary on the first level. That is not fucking cool. Like, you, s I see people do it, and I know certain YouTubers that do it, and fuck them. Like, I get so tired of seeing subscribers of these people be brainwashed into thinking they're the best YouTuber. They fucking tricked you to get a view. Like, who the fuck says it's, it's a, like, they, they don't put developer in the title, they just put walkthrough. 
That's all they fucking put. I mean, it's it's frustrating. That's why when I don't see people watching me, it's not that I'm jealous of anybody, okay? It's not that. It's just that I feel like my subscribers, who are probably subscribed to many other people, um, aren't being treated fairly. Aren't be People aren't being genuine to them. And that is, people are taking this shit for granted, and the subscribers are letting it happen. You guys can't let it happen. Like, when I tell you I do this for you, I'm not lying. Like, people could say, oh, self-righteous piece of shit. Look at this guy. He doesn't make faults. Of course I have faults. Of course I do. But I do all I can to fix these faults. I do all I can to make my YouTube channel the best YouTube channel possible without skipping ahead in line. I've paid my dues. I've been at this for nearly five years. Then you got some Joe Schmo who comes in, br like, jumps line, let's say, does all this trickery bullshit, and he's got five times the subscribers I do. Like, why? Why is that the case? Why, why do we, why do I have to put up with that bullshit? I mean, I am genuinely trying to find out what I can do to better my channel and myself when I might as well just fucking false title all these videos. Like, that seems to be what is what's getting people to watch you, right? The thing is, though, those people that watch aren't fans of you. They, they don't want you either. That's just it. They just want the content that comes early. But, okay. I want to I wanna talk about something. I'm sure you guys noticed um, months and months ago. I can't remember when exactly I changed it. But I changed my series. I used to call my, okay. My videos originally started off as playthroughs. That's what I called them. So, uh, let's think of a game here. Uh, just Assassin's Creed playthrough part one, etc. I then changed it to Assassin's Creed walkthrough. And the reason I did that was because nobody looked, nobody really classified a, a let's play in, as a, or a walkthrough as a let's play. You know what I mean? So, or vice versa. Sorry, no one really cl uh, classified a let's play. No, what am I trying to say? No one classified a let's play as a let's play. A let's play was a walkthrough, okay? That's what people thought. Like, oh no, this is a walkthrough. No, it isn't. No, it's first time playing. It's not. The reason I did that was to jump on the bandwagon. You know what I mean? Kind of a dumb thing. I'm, I'm not, I'm against of being a follower. I'm not a follower. I feel like I'm more of an independent person and I like to make my own thing, make, do my own thing, make my own rules, etc., etc. I'm not here to be like everybody else because if I were like everybody else, I wouldn't be that interesting. You see what I mean? So... Yes, I did do that for a time. I did title my videos walkthrough. Did it help me get views? I don't know. I don't really think so. I think it's really all the same. The only reason that the walkthrough changed the way it did is was because of those people I was previously referring to. They called everything a fucking walkthrough. Like, look, here's a, tu a walkthrough tutorial. Putting on glasses. 500,000 views right there. Like, anything and everything was a fucking walkthrough. They took a shit, uh, uh, Dan takes a shit, walkthrough part one. The, the, the bloating stage. I don't fucking know. Like, that's the kind of bullshit that we see on YouTube. I know, this, the, you know what, this video's kind of developed into another rant. I, I've been so fucking angry as of late at the way YouTube works and some YouTubers on there. Don't get me wrong, there are YouTubers out there who do put in the work and I respect as well and have earned their subscriber base. I'm not hating on any of those people. But when you use fake fucking tactics to do so, you're not a YouTuber and you're not, you're not respectable. I don't give a shit who you are. There are certain, I'm not going to name anybody because that's not the, I'm not name dropping people here. That's not the, that's not the goal. But there are certain people on YouTube who I know specifically, I know as a channel, people tell me, oh, and this is, this is what's annoying. And I've had this happen. People have advertised these people who I fucking loathe on YouTube, their channels on my channel by saying, oh no, oh, you, you, sh you guys should watch this guy's plot. Even though they're a subscriber of mine, they tell them to go watch them. His videos are so much faster. He uploads way faster. He uploads quicker, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Because he's cheating the fucking system, and then when you go click on the video and you find out that he titled it, uh, well fuck, um, what's, what's coming up, what's coming up now, um, 
let's say the order 1886 or 18, 1886 full walkthrough part one so people click on it wow i want to see this game the, you know, hi my name is randy mix mick mcdonaldson and uh i'm the creative designer behind uh the order 1886 and i'm going to take you through uh the first introductory level and show what we're doing what we have done so far so yeah enjoy let's get started and it's the fucking developer walkthrough like and then you no one gets mad at him but people got mad at me for calling them walkthroughs they did i looked through this i looked through all the fucking all all through the comments just to see awesome thanks so much for posting love it oh man this is great you're the best gamer ever what did he do other than take a video from someone's channel and post it to his own like why why is that being praised i don't fucking get it man i don't get it you can tell when someone's doing that when all they do is post videos with trickery T tags and if you guys don't know what a tag is the tags of a video are, are keywords that people search to uh find the video on youtube okay and YouTube, for, again, for those who don't upload, YouTube has its own space for tags. I have my own tags as well, but you don't see them because I don't put them in the fucking title to get extra uh, publicity. It makes you look like a fucking idiot and a grease ball. And there are people who title that. Let's play, like playthrough, walkthrough. Like every single thing you'd put in a tag, they have in their fucking title. And their tags are like a mile long on the computer. And people don't bitch about it like, ah, yes, I love you. You're the best YouTuber. People got to look a little deeper. Don't be, con don't be tricked. Don't be confused. Now, I understand this makes me look like a bit of a dick. I, I don't, honestly, that that's fine. I may be a dick. But am I really, though? Like, I'm just pointing out people's flaws. I have my own flaws, like I said before. And I, I'm 100% understanding of those flaws. But I'm not trying to use my flaws... To push the channel and get paid. I'm looking at my flaws to better the channel to get paid. Not to use a greasy tactic and just fucking spam you guys. Like, I could trick everybody if I wanted to. If I really, really wanted to, yeah, I'm sure I could trick somebody. Post a trailer. Walk through part one. Bam. But I get the hate because I'm not the people that normally do it. I'd be getting hate for it because I, I normally I don't do it. So, and the other people do do it. And it's totally fine when they do it. Because it's them, right? It's them. And they're special. Like. <sighs> I could tell you guys a few stories. I really could. You know? Now, I'm sure you guys remember. Now, last year, basically a year ago to date. Um... YouTube introduced a content ID sweep where everybody's videos got flagged up the balls. I still deal with content ID. I still do. And YouTube did another sweep. I don't know if it was another sweep or if it's something I did. I don't know. I actually feel like checking just in case. So far, so good. But the last two to three days, I've been dealing with content ID sweeps where the video, uh, sorry, where all my videos who have gotten cleared up from last year are being reclaimed by these false things. And I have false networks claiming again. Fortunately, most of these networks have tw Twitter, so I just tweet them immediately. I'm like, yeah, you've got these false claims. Can you remove them ASAP? Thank you, etc. And they usually do. But it's a fucking uphill battle because YouTube's content system, YouTube's audio system, like the removal tool, is horrible. And nothing works. I may have lost my good skate videos, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, I'm working on freeing them up. But, it's just a nightmare, every day, to see someone like me, again, trying to make their way through YouTube, trying to make their way, make themselves known, the good old fashioned way, by making the content quality driven. Instead, I'm getting beat by people who don't necessarily even do commentary. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but let's just not include commentary at all. Let's just say who, okay, who make videos of games, but get the game early as fuck, break street date, 
not even the embargo. They break the embargo, I should say. I see people break the embargo. And they break the embargo. They spam it. They spam the game in one day, like all 50 parts in one fucking day. And they put tags in their fucking, in their titles. That's not what that's for. It's a title, not a tag. Get your fucking tags and put them in the tag box, you piece of shit. Like, these kids, man, and they, they must be. They must be like teenagers trying to make a quick buck. And they're doing it. They're fucking doing it. I mean, I don't know what I have to say. I don't know what I have to do. I really don't know what I need to do anymore. What the hell does YouTube require of me? YouTube's layout is such fucking shit too that nobody sees anything anyway. That's just it. Like, I don't know what I need to do anymore. What do I, what, what am I supposed to post? What the fuck do I post? Do I post anything anymore? Is that what, is, is that really what needs to be done? Do I post one video a day? Do I post 50 videos a day? Do I do that? Like, what is the answer? I don't know. I really don't know, which is why I'm asking you. You guys, the ones who control that. You guys know more than anybody what you want to see. So you got to help me out and tell me. Everyone, all of you, all of my subscribers. I can't have just a few people. And if you see something that someone's already commented, thumbs it up. It helps me. Every little bit helps. Even if I get the majority telling me what they'd like or why they subscribed or for what purpose or, or what, what made them subscribe, what made them want to come back. I got to know this. What am I doing right? What am I doing wrong? Because what I'm doing wrong, I could change to what I'm doing right. I just need feedback. I need help. And I, I can admit, I need help. I do. I need your guys' help with this. Like I said, most of my stuff goes on fan feedback. It's based off of fan feedback. And, you know, I, I just got I just to gotta do it. I just got to... I'm sorry. I've been so frustrated with this lately. It's been so stressful, especially since I've decided to do this full time. I take this very seriously. You know, um, I want it to become huge. I want it to become big. I feel like I've worked really hard on it, grinding after my full-time job, after I want to go to sleep so bad, but I want to make the channel grow big. I want to show my dedication to this channel. I want to show my dedication to my subscribers that this is what I want to do. That's what I've been trying to do. That's what I've been trying to show everybody. But some people don't necessarily care about that. And maybe all those other subscribers let's just say those 140,000 subscribers um, are the people who just want an upload. They, I mean, I don't, or just want one thing from me. You know what I mean? They've liked one series. They don't have interest in Let's Plays every day. I get that. Totally. But I also want my dedicated fans. I want, I want them to not lose out on this because it could end up not happening. Do you know what I mean? I don't want my dedicated fans to not be able to watch something they like. Because if I can't do this anymore, or if I, if I have to cut back, if I have to go back to work, I don't know. I'm just preparing. I want to be prepared. I'm not saying I'm, I'm going down. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying I'd rather be in a more comfortable setting. I've been able to focus my time, play more, record more, get more done, work on editing, etc., etc. I've been able to do that since I left my last, my full-time job. And my full-time job was stressing me out. And from what I heard as well, things have gone downhill since I left. Crazy things, lots of things happened. A lot of people getting fired left, right, and center. So maybe I did leave at the right time. But do I go find another job again? I don't know, do I? I don't want to. But I mean, it's only been a couple months. One month. I do this for full-time for, for a month. A little over a month month and five days. I'm proud of myself because I'm, I, I'm, I'm pushing myself to do things I wouldn't feel comfortable to do, but I need help. I can't be one of those guys and I'll ne I'd rather go back to work than pedal to another channel. Use someone else. You know what I mean? Like I, if that makes sense, 
You know what? Let me put it in perspective. Little story. Again, not name dropping. When the content ID sweep hit us last year, I actually had a YouTuber uh, who has more subscribers than I do now. At the time, he was close, but he didn't. I had a YouTuber come to me, and he's like, very. He was very. Uh, I don't know. How, I don't know how how I say his tone was. He was distraught. Let's just say. He's like, I lost my channel. It's it's been suspended. He had a few suspensions on his channel for his content ID. Because he used it in a way that I didn't, you know what I mean? And so they suspended his channel, not once, I don't believe twice, but three times in the course of a, a week. They brought it back after a few days and kept suspending him. So he's like, he's, he basically gave up on hope and he's like, my channel's ruined. But wait. So he went to me. And he's like, hey, Dan, uh, would you be willing to post some of my, my walkthroughs? And I'm like, what? What for? How would that fucking even work? Like, what? And basically, his idea was to post games that I too posted. So he wanted to take my spot on my channel with the games I was going to play. So we were both going to play the same games on our respective channels. And he wanted me to post his... To my channel instead of mine and pay him for it pay him to post a game i was gonna post anyway on my channel and pay him two big motherfucking fingers to you you faggot you and all those other motherfuckers who cheat the system he's one of the ones that cheats the system all of those motherfuckers that cheat the system Fuck you. Fuck you, you fucking assholes. You're fucked YouTube. You fucked YouTube. Everyone who's trying to make an honest channel can't fucking do it. And I'm going to break cameras. Pretty much. I'm not trying to attack anybody, but... I can't help it. Like... You guys don't see what goes on behind the scenes. I get fucking shit on, like, all the time for doing things incorrectly or doing something a certain way. And then these guys get praised for doing things that are fucking 50 times fucking worse. Like, what the fuck? You false, fake, lying motherfuckers. Like, YouTube drama. What the hell am I getting myself into? I don't know, but... I can only grit my teeth for so long and keep shit to myself. I'm the kind of guy who vents and yells and curses. Now, if people don't like that, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you because that's what I do. I get angry recently, nowadays more than ever because I'm, I'm fighting to get this working. I'm fucking fighting to make my channel work. Spending hours fixing content ID. Hours. I get a content ID flag. 30 more come through. It is a full-time job simply removing content ID. Now, it is slowing down a little bit. But I can't spend my time on content ID. I got to look at the future. I got to look at what I can do for my channel to make it better. Not waste my time on past. This, I mean, the thing is, I'm OCD. So I can't help fixing them. I have to. It looks bad on my channel. It looks improper. So I have to fix it and make it look better. Especially if it's a series people still watch. If they block a video that people still watch, like, ah, oh, you know, I don't want to lose the work that I've done. That's just it. I've, I'm basically losing work. Because of music, 
fucking music. Oh my god. And false claims. A lot of false claims. Sure, fellow YouTubers are fully aware of what I'm getting at here. I'm sure you understand, for those of you who, if there are any other YouTubers out there who do watch me, I'm sure you understand what the hell I'm talking about. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what YouTube's going to come. I, I wish I felt better at the end of 2014 than I do now, but I, I, to be honest, I don't feel that great right now. I feel worried at what YouTube's going to do. What YouTube is going to do to my channel. What am I going to have to do to change? Am I going to have to change dramatically? No more gameplay. Like, I don't know. It's an uphill battle. And those that say, sign with Machinima. There are some things about Machinima that most people don't know, you guys. There's a lot of things. But like I said in a past video, those people who upload early and do these things and, you know, are quote-unquote immune to content ID. Let's just say I heard some things and their time is limited. Won't be much longer until they get hit fucking hard. Or their parent, let's just say, Big King Dick gets hit hard. And when the Big King Dick gets hit hard, everybody else gets hit hard. Harder, in fact. But I think we'll save that for another time. That's a whole other story. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, I apologize for going off on a rant, going off on a tangents, on those tangents, for raising my voice, for being, uh, you know, uh, a bit of a, a bit of a douche. I do apologize. Even to the YouTubers, maybe you know who you are, I don't know. If you do, sorry I went off on you, but I'm only saying what I find is true. And I don't believe in doing wrong by your subscribers. Don't take them for granted. Don't do that. I just need to know. What do you like? What don't you like? It's very simple and really I, I, that, uh, I don't know what else to say. I end up going on a long, long, long rant. A lot of stuff built up. Now I'm, you can tell my tone has changed. I got it all out. But I'm still angry. I'm still angry. I got, I mean, if it's one thing we can look forward to, End of the year means end of the year videos. And it's so much fun to reminisce. It really is. Especially based on your guys' recommendations. So I'll make a video on that later on. On uh, voting. On uh, content. And we'll have, you know, the Game of the Year awards, if you will. Not Game of the Year awards, but best series, best games of 2014. I've done a best uh, games of whatever year for the past, like, three years? Since 2011? 11, 12, 13, so this will be the fourth year I've done it. So you guys will have to let me know. I'll make a video again, and I really hope you guys come check it out. For those of you who do and continue to support me and follow me, and for those of you who were uh, uh, being so supportive uh, last night over Facebook and Twitter, thank you. Like, I didn't mean to sound like a, like a, I didn't mean to be upset. I didn't mean to bring problems. I didn't mean to be dramatic. I, like, I, I do appreciate that you guys have my back on that one. I really do. Because I wasn't feeling good. I was really un I was unhappy with, with things. And I just want to make sure I'm doing right by everybody. So if you guys could let me know in the comments. That's all I ask. Let me know down in the comments. Anything. Anything at all that you want to talk about. Anything you feel could help the channel. Whether it be games. Whether it be my upload schedule. Whether it be myself, things I do, things I should add, things I should take out. And above all, tell me, why did you subscribe? It's one question I'd like to hear from as many people as possible. I'm going to read the comments pretty thoroughly on this one, guys. 
So if you have something to say, something that could change you Dan Q8000 in the future for the better, now is the time to let me know what you think. Okay? Thank you so much, guys, for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button. Let me know in the comments, please. And I hope you guys come back for more gameplay. Because I will keep posting. I will. I'll fight through anything. Any negative, any slow, any down, any up. I'm going to fight constantly for my channel. I promise you that. So. Take care, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you have a fantastic day. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your Christmas holidays, although I will be speaking to you about that again. So, take care, guys. I'll see you soon.